Folks, how y'all doing? How's your week been? How's your weekend been? It's me. It's me. It's Bobby. It's nervous. It's the nervous stream. Ladies and germs. But, 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 testing, testing. Sounds okay. You remember what we were doing last weekend? Huh? Do you remember? We were playing some root letter, last answer. The adventures of a uh, very confused young man uh, terrorizing the peaceful town of Matsue. Let's continue, shall we? Hang on. Where's the freaking sound? I'm sure we'll figure that out in a minute. Did I mute it? Games. I certainly did not. There we go. Esper I. I'm just checking volume here. So last time we kind of had it booming over me. You don't want that. How's that? That sounds like it's probably all right. Folks! I look a little damp. I do look a little damp, I gotta say. I, uh, before coming on here, I did a workout. Caught up with my anime. After that, I ate a lasagna. And, uh, had a shower. I'm all heated up over here. But, you know, we do the best we can. Every damn day. So where were we? I think we were just entering Chapter 3. Oh. Oh, I had my headphones turned all the way down. Gosh, I am loud. There we go. That might be better. You might hear a little bit of buzz in the background. I got the fan on, trying to trying to cool the savage beast here. Uh, so what were we up to? Uh, we just harassed uh, Four Eyes at the um, at the city office. He uh, did not have a good reaction to us. We were pretty horrible to him. Looks like we're going back to the hotel. That does actually seem pretty loud, doesn't it? Turn that down just a bit. I think that might be better. Don't want it booming over me, that's the thing. All right. Oh, it's really booming now. Maybe that's better. I should really sort out my audio issues before coming live, but hey. Uh, we're not going back to the hotel. We are going to get some food in true Max fashion. Sanpei comes over. I thought maybe that was Borsh, but I think it was just Sanpei. The Yamato no Orochisoba was was great, so I came back. I look over the menu. They have all sorts of soba dishes and combo meals. It all looks good. There's so many choices. It's hard to decide. Oh, baby. No way! Who the hell could eat that much? His record. Are we going to get into a subplot? I hope so. Uh, what do you get if you set a new record? Uh, eat yourself sick. Uh, for free. Uh, no thanks. What's going on, Sanpei? What do you want to eat? What do you feel like eating right now? Oh, choco des. Chocolate. 
Ain't that the truth. <sighs> what else is new, Sanpei? What's today's special? What are today's specials? Oh my god. What did I have yesterday for lunch? Alright, that's it. I'll have a shijimi bowl again. Uh, Sanpei heads to the kitchen. Alright, I guess I'll wait until the food comes. Well, let's think about our life. <laughs> what brought us here? There sure are a lot of soap restaurants to check out. A uh, fine problem to have. Uh, it's the regular menu. Everything looks delicious. Who's that? Who's that up there? Who is that? I look around the shop. There's a label on the picture that says Masaya Watanabe. Matsue Oba High School. Speed eating record. Yamata, Yamata no Orochi. Five bowls. So that's the record holder. Hey, isn't he the coach of the baseball team? I should take a picture. I take a, t take a picture of Watanabe's speed eating record. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh huh. Sanpei brings over a shijimi bowl. It has plenty of plump shijimi clams on top. The rice is infused with their flavor, and it looks and smells fantastic. That looks real good. Good food is a gift from the gods. Thanks. I let myself get lost in the shijimi bowl's flavor. It was so good, I finished before I knew it. Genkichi comes over from the kitchen. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, it was the best. The shijimi clams must love being part of something so good. I... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Looks like uh, Japanese Garth Algar. Why is this area famous for shijimi clams? I don't know what shijimi fishing is or what a shijimi clam is. Shall we go on a little learning adventure? And find out? Um, okay, it is a type of clam. And shijimi fishing is fishing for those clams. Corbicula japonica, an edible species of brackish water clam, a bivalve mollusk in the family uh, Serenidae, the basket clam. Uh, basket clams settle at the mouths of rivers in brackish water. During low tide, people see them are able to see them in tidal flats and collect them for food. They're roughly 30 to 35 centimeters and are reddish brown when young, turning black as they mature. Well, they sound delicious as a seafood fan i will put a little clam in my mouth anyway back to the matters at hand oh, are we gonna go to the clam pavilion oh buns you're no fun uh no i'm good for now the ghost sight of the fumino residence we're looking for ghost babes. Uh, by the way, have you ever heard a rumor that the empty lot is haunted? Whoa. Uh, chef and waiter going out ghost hunting together. I love the thought of it. I want a game about these two. Uh, so, was it a female ghost? High school age? Whoa. How do you know she's in her late 20s? He's got two eyes for it. Beautiful man. Give me a break. Oh, wow. They actually do go have ghost hunting together. Uh, did the rumors originate from that blog? Oh, he seems a little offended. Ghosts, huh? Uh, Genkichi hands over a Sumo Ashikoshi stamp rally card. Oh, yes. 
We're going to get those sumo legs and hips. Uh, you mentioned that before. What the heck is it? We're gonna eat all of the good seafood and be a sumo wrestler. Uh, hey, I ate an unagi in the Yama <laughs> Yamata no Orochi soba, and I ate the shijimi bowl, bowl today, so that's why you stamped it U and Shi. What happens when you get all the stamps? I smell a quest. Making a big deal out of it, huh? One step forward, two steps back. <laughs> oh, we're being mocked by the waiter. Uh, that's the two steps back. <laughs> oh no! Hey, I'm looking for some kids. Uh, is there a store in Matsue which has uh, been around for a little while, f f around for a while, where high school students like to gather? No, I don't think that'll work. It needs to be a store where the students and staff would recognize each other. Marukoshi, you say? What kind of place is it? Uh, teenagers love cheap food. Uh, was it mentioned in the guidebook? I guess we'll look in the guidebook then, huh? I consult the guidebook. Here it is. Someone might know the students from Oba High School 15 years ago. <laughs> they have taken a shine to me. Uh, this shop has great service. <laughs> He's just the world's biggest scumbag. Uh, now that I'm full, I guess I'll check out Marukoshi Place. Let's go, huh? Oh, no, not the smartphone. I'm always on that damn phone. All right. There it is. What's it going to be like here? What do we think? Oh, that's the kind of down-home... Down home shop you love to see. I arrive at Marukoshi. There are some high school students hanging out and chatting about nothing in particular. I feel like there should be an arcade machine here for Arano to uh, challenge the local children in an episode of Game Center CX. Uh, this is Marukoshi. It's set up like a bento shop. <laughs> and the bento counter. I wonder what they have. What do we got, huh? They're selling shaved ice right now. I haven't had that in a while. I want some. Hey, look at that little guy. Is that a shaved ice creature? Is it a bird? I think it's a bird. Look at his little headband, though. He's good. Um, uh, mm, yeah. What's happening at the Ultra Vendor? Uh, I look at the vending machine. Cans of juice and coffee are less than 100 yen each. There's even juice for 50 yen. This is the ultimate vending machine. I want to go back to being a student. That's a good deal. Too good. Very mature student. Uh, there's a menu on the wall. Takoyaki, 250. Soba omelet, 200. Fried dough, 50 each. Croquette, 50. No wonder they got a lot of students here. No, oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a uh, shipping container with a window, but I love it. Uh, when I enter the room, or when I enter the shop, a few high school boys and girls are chatting happily. Ooh, ice cream? Shall we? Uh, it's an ad for soft serve ice cream. It's making me hungry. What else we got? Oh, God. Uh, the air conditioner's on, and it feels just right. Uh, there's a water cooler. The inside of the shop is like a little cram school. I get some water and a piece of fried kinako dough and sit at a table. I haven't had fried dough in a while. 
Uh, my gaze drifts to the group of high school students chatting happily. I wonder if Aya and her friends came here. Aya and her seven classmates are having a good time. It's a terrifying nightmare. I let myself get lost in thought, and when I look up, I realize that the students have left. I'm the only customer left in the place. Maybe the person Aya killed was a classmate. It explained why Four Eyes didn't want to talk about her. But if that's the case, who did she kill? I have more of her letters. I take out a piece of banana pattern stationery from my bag. Here we go, letter three, huh? I let myself get lost in thought. Um, when I look up, I realize the students have left. I'm the only customer in the... Wait! That... That just repeated. I'm... <laughs> I feel like I'm having a stroke when I play this game. Uh, there might be a hint to solve the mystery in here. I'll read it over. Max-kun. Max I get it. Monkey. Banana stationery. Maybe he's a Goku. What? What did you do to him? Is Monkey a tragic... <laughs> He's a loyal and tragic hero. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess this is the chapter where we're going to bully Monkey to tears, huh? I can get behind that. Alright. What are we going to write back? Let's let this write out first, and then I'll review it, because it's going to get to a point where I can't even read it anymore. Um, and then I'll have to go back anyway, so... Let's... Oh, God. P.S. Show the whole thing. Um, what do we have here? Thanks for your letter. Tokyo's also crazy hot right now. Wow. Your high school baseball team went all the way to the prefectural finals, huh? Must have been fun. I'm jealous. Uh, my high school went up against the favored winners in the first round and lost. It was a called game, but our team is taking it well, at least. Uh, they were talking big about how winning the Tokyo Finals is actually harder than the Nationals. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, I played soccer in middle school, but I gave it up. There are people in this world who've got talent that no amount of hard work can make up for. Uh, sports can be frustrating, but it's fun, too. I used to think it's strange to hug or shake hands with opponents after a match, but I really get it after experiencing it myself. It's like you sweat away any negative feelings when you play sports. I'd like to continue playing even after I grow up. Max. P.S. <laughs> I don't want to become an adult. Um, let's see what we have here. Oh, we are such a piece of shit. Uh, I don't want to become an adult. Ideally, I'd be a high school student forever. Uh, I try not to have ideals. I want to become an ideal. My ideal adult is rich. You can't do anything without money. My ideal adult has big dreams. You always got to be focused on something. I want to make a sound like the piece of shit we are. Um, and I don't know if that's I want to be a kid forever or I want to become the ideal. I think it's I want to become the ideal. That's the, um, the JRPG final boss origin story, I feel. Uh, do you want to grow up quickly? What do you think of selfish adults? Do you like rich, do you like rich people? 
<laughs> what kind of adult do you want to become? <laughs> there we go. Do you like rich people? Uh, I got pretty serious in that letter. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you fucking didn't. Uh, the lady who runs Marikoshi comes over. Uh, auntie is kicking us out for being a weirdo. What? <laughs> it's making everybody in the world uncomfortable. Oh, I, I just have a lot on my mind is all. Uh, hey, has this shop been around for a while? Then you must be familiar with the high school students in this area. Hmm, she might actually know something. Um, should we show her our picture? Uh, this is a photo from 15 years ago. But do you recognize her? I show the lady Aya's photo. <laughs> the zoom in on the chin. Always. Do you recognize her, though? Oh, okay. Another dead end. I'm getting discouraged. <laughs> uh, no, she's my pen pal from 15 years ago. It was unseasonably hot that year. Uh, yes? Oh. Well, that had nothing to do with Aya. Uh, was there an incident that year? Like, an incident where a high school student was arrested for murder. <laughs> what about attempted murder? Were there any incidents where a girl in high school was arrested? <laughs> She's, um, not, not having it. No one knows? This could be something big. Hmm. Very mysterious, huh? Uh, I'm just looking for my pen pal. <laughs> Please, my pen pal. Do you know anyone who might have a lot of information about the Matsue area? I want to go see the SS Swan. I want to ride the SS Swan. I want to ride the SS Centipede. Uh, hmm, thanks. I'll have to go see him. It's still kind of unclear, but oh well. I'll try the tour boat boarding area. Let's go. Absolutely exciting stuff. Oh, look. It's, um... It's the mascot again. There are 20 or so passengers lined up at the boarding area. The SS Swan is a long, flat tour boat. There's a painting of Shimaneko on, on its white hull. I wonder who the captain is. That's when I notice a man with a white beard wearing a captain's hat. Totally looks like the one true captain. Oh, I love this guy. Uh, yeah, that guy. He just needs a shirt that says, I'm the captain. Uh, excuse me. He must be the captain. Yes. Yes. Where'd you get that swaggish style, Captain? Um, I heard you know a lot about Matsue. Could I ask you a few questions? What do we got for him? Oh, all aboard. He tries to get you on his boat. Uh, the SS Swan is a tour boat that operates on Lake Shinji. If I get on, I won't be able to come back for at least an hour. Well, I do want to hear what the captain has to say. I board the SS Swan. It's a real wonder swan. Uh, there are chairs set up on the rear deck, and several passengers are sitting down. There are tatami mats lining the inside rooms. It's like a houseboat! The captain is seated up front at the helm, and is preparing to set sail. Doesn't look like a good time to chat. 
Once the SS Swan sets sail, an audio guide for Lake Shinji for the Lake Shinji cruise starts to play. Captain, got a little time to talk? Why'd I get on the boat again? Didn't you say we could talk on the ship? I really like him. His beard is great. Uh, well then, I'd better leave it for now. Guess I just have to wait until this little cruise is over with. Uh, the boat glides across the lake's tranquil surface at a leisurely pace. Unlike oceans or rivers, lake cruises are peaceful. You can relax and enjoy the scenery. It's actually pretty nice. Well, let's think about it. Let's think about this. Finally, we're seeing a little bit of Lake Shinji. We've been teased that we can see Lake Shinji from the window. They've never actually shown it to us. Oh, my chair is squeaky. And my legs are peaky. Um, it's very beautiful. That's not much of a view, though. I really, you know, show us some, some big old, big old panoramas of Lake Shinji, huh? It's a regular table. That's another regular table. Uh, they've got brochures for the Lake Shinji cruise. I guess I'll take one. I read through the Lake Shinji cruise brochure. The sunset at Lake Shinji is so beautiful. It has been named one of Japan's top 100. The Sunset Cruise lets you fully enjoy the beautiful lake as it is dyed gold. Well, well. Uh, looks like we're going to be on the water for a while. Good morning, Matsue. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, CD Breakfast. How's, how's your weekend going? How's it going? Um, suddenly, the passengers begin to stir. What? Uh, the TV on the boat is showing a commercial for Lake Shinji's Shijimi Clams. <laughs> it looks like a local commercial. A little girl about seven years old is advertising Shijimi. Shijimi Clams are apparently a local specialty of Lake Shinji. Isn't she just? She's like the little Pepsi girl. Remember her? Oh, everybody's going mad for her. It's the little clam girl who everybody loves. Uh, seems like she's a famous child actress in Matsue. Uh, on the back page of Lake Shinji's cruise brochure is a photo of Arisa. And an advertisement that says, Usagi Theatrical Company, now recruiting. The boat returns to the dock after a 45-minute trip around Lake Shinji. Well, here we are. The uh, SS-1 returns to the dock. Hakucho 2. Hakucho 2! It's the second one. Uh, I jump off the boat. Was there any point to riding around the lake? No! How was the cruise? <laughs> uh, it was pretty relaxing, but I didn't get a chance to talk to you. So we're pursuing this bear like captain now. Uh, I guess so. Holy smokes. Uh, well, he seems more impressed with us than quite a few of the characters we've met so far. Uh, less like my character and more like your aura. You were giving off a major don't talk to me vibe. <laughs> We're popular with the older guys, I found. We're very popular at the cafe at the uh, at the Sobo Cafe. We're popular with this man. Everybody else absolutely can't stand us. The captain laughs heartily. Gonna laugh it off, huh? Seems alright to ask about Aya now. Alright. Uh, I'll jump right in. Do you recognize this girl? I show Aya's photo to the captain. This is from 15 years ago, but... Sorry, buddy. I'm not interested in dames. 
I heard you're well acquainted with Matsue's high school students. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's a big difference between high school students and high school baseball. Well. Uh, maybe not that much of a difference. Do you remember the summer tournament 15 years ago? <laughs> the greatest day of my life. That good of a game. Wow. What part of that was an unforgettable game? Oh, wow. He got the ball. That's it? <laughs> Getting the ball autographed by a high school student. <laughs> Is a ball with a high school student's autograph worth anything? <laughs> In my heart of hearts. And that's what matters. This game's patently absurd. Uh, have they got a good player now or something? Oh, the scouts are after him. A pitcher and a cleanup hitter? That's the best of both worlds. They got a player like that, huh? Hell of a player. He'll become a star of Matsue. I'll get you that autograph, Chief. Uh, was there a player like a monkey in Oba's baseball team 15 years ago? <laughs> like, what does that even mean? Hmm. Uh-oh. What kind of a scandal? Somebody's getting in trouble. They directed all that frustration into winning the following year, huh? No, no, not the ace. Uh, I've learned a lot about baseball team, about the baseball team from back then, but I still don't know who Monkey is. We know who he is. Uh, no use asking any more questions. Thank you. Maybe we can chat again sometime. No. The captain walks away. Well, wasn't this nice? Come to think of it, Aya's letter said that Oba High School got to the finals uh, in the high school baseball tournament. Monkey must have been on the team. Where would I go for newspapers? Oh, the library. Uh, <laughs> this candle was he was an actual monkey. <laughs> and they hung him because they thought he was a Frenchman. There's the library. If I look up the high school <laughs> If I look up the high school baseball records from 15 years ago, I might find something that'll lead me to Monkey. I, haven't we met this guy like four times? Uh, I'm in the periodical section. Uh, the high school baseball prefectural prefectural tournament finals are in late July. I should look for the for the July newspapers from 15 years ago. I find a newspaper article. There's an article in the morning edition from July 26th. In the finals, Hamanokawa High School won against Oba High School. In her letter, Aya said that Monkey played a huge part. The article lists the player's scores. From Oba High School, the four player seems to... The four player seems... The four player seems to have done well. Okay, so I guess number four. Uh, three, f three for four and one home run. <laughs> I, it's very difficult for me to parse this. Uh, the player's name was... <laughs> What? I let out a cry of amazement, which draws glares from all around. Sorry. I apologize in a soft voice, and they look away. I thought we were going to meet, meet somebody really fun just then. The player's name was Watanabe. Same as that gorilla-like teacher who caught me. He must be Monkey. 
but this isn't enough to be sure he's monkey. I reread the article. The only one who made a home run in the finals was Watanabe. A home run? There's something about that. There is, isn't there? The captain was saying he got the home run ball autographed. The ball should have the player's name. <laughs> the newspaper also has a picture of the moment when Hamanokawa High School won. The overjoyed Hamanokawa players are in the foreground, with the sobbing Oba High School players behind them. That virgin and Chad. Uh, that broad back looks like his. <laughs> it's especially funny because the actor they got is not a big guy. Uh, this is him? I made a copy of the newspaper article. Uh, acquired copy of the newspaper article about the finals. I better go see the captain. All right, back we go. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of running back and forth. Uh, I don't see the captain anywhere. Bad timing, I guess. I check the time table in the waiting room, but there's still an hour until the next departure. He might not be back for a while. I hope he showed me. I hoped he'd show me his sign vol. Oh, let me just run home and get it. Uh, just waiting around is kind of boring. What should we do? I suppose I'll go meet Monkey. We don't need to look at the sign ball, do we? Um, let's go to the high school. Humiliate this poor man. Call him, call him a monkey to his face. There's the high, there's the high school. I hope we get accused of peeping again. Uh, I'm back at Oba High School. The students are preparing to head home. I'm just in time. School's getting out. I'll go to the field to see if, it, if the baseball team is there. As I arrive at the field, I can hear a bunch of people there already. It's the baseball team practicing. I watch them practicing for a little while. There's no sign of him. A baseball team member passes by. That looks like somebody I used to work with. Uh, hey, do you know where the coach is? This guy who I used to work with, he would look at me with that face, with that kind of facial expression, and he'd like do a weird giggle. Um, and uh, I remember like asking him, like, so, so what do you do? What do you, well, what do you like to do outside of work? Um, and he told me um, that he uh, tried to join the military, um, but they said that his mind wasn't right. And then he laughed. And I don't think it was a joke. Anyway, that stuck with me. I don't know what I don't know what he meant by that. Well, I, I can get an idea of what he meant by that. He was a character. Um Uh yeah, I'm an acquaintance of his. Oh, the coach has got Rona. <laughs> Hanging around high school, that's us. Hey, uh, could you tell me his nickname? We don't call him Monkey. What are you getting at? They trust him more than I thought. Very self-serious guy. <laughs> I almost became a, a real Bancho. I almost became a Yankee bo Bosuzoku. Uh, I guess you can't judge a book by its ape-like cover. It's a rude, very rude. You must become a first-class man before you be become a first-class first baseball. Uh, I sure can't argue with that. Uh, other baseball team members come over. Who's this old fool? Old man. I'm a young guy, no matter how you slice it. He's a mature one. So this is the Matsui who's got the best of both worlds. Is he the ace in number four? Matsui, you're the ace and the cleanup hitter, right? <laughs> He's got his thumb out. Uh, I heard from Coach. No, we didn't. We're a 
damn liar. Great, I lied again. If I stick around too long, I'll end up lying a lot more. Uh, your coach used to be on the team when he was in high school, right? It was all riding on Monkey. What went wrong? Uh, I heard he hit a home run at the finals and played a huge part. Mm. Matsui's brisk, brisk speech suddenly falters. Uh oh. So he's a fielder? I was under the impression he was a fielder. He's a real angel in the outfield. Yeah. Oh, cat hair in my mouth. Uh, the best of both two. I don't know if it is funny. Mm. He'll never pitch again. Aha, the, the famous injured right arm of the ace. That guy's got quite a past. Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, I am. He looks like he's gonna cry now. Uh, and he looks bored. Uh, the other players nod in agreement. Wonder what it could be. Is something the matter? It's, it's us. I think we're the matter. The coach was drinking in an empty classroom? I hope he was drinking in class. <laughs> Is that a real cocktail? Is that a real cocktail? Um, it's a, it's a flavor of, uh, vape liquid. Could get that. There's a drunken monkey. There's a dirty monkey. The monkey mix is, um, it's just, it's just a vape cartridge. Oh, well. Maybe he drink, maybe he drinks vape fluid. Uh, uh, a banana flavored cocktail. Is he trying to be a monkey? <laughs> famous, <laughs> famous cocktail enjoying monkeys. Uh, well, a grown up needs a drink once in a while. Oh. He gave in, huh? Don't worry. We'll help the coach. It's getting weird. Hey, listen, Matsui. Do you think I could get a signed ball? <laughs> uh, we are gonna blow. We are gonna blow the captain's mind. This might become my treasured possession, like the captain. Oh, we're not. <laughs> oh, are we gonna keep it? <laughs> I think we're keeping the ball. Fair enough. After we made fun of the captain about it. <laughs> Let's have a look at it in the smartphone. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> a baseball signed by Matsue Oba High School's team pitcher and number four, uh, Ichitaro Matsui. Uh, the tour boat captain wants this. I guess we probably will give it to the, give it to the captain. <laughs> Stupid game. Uh, okay, we need to think first. Of course, you always need to think in these style of adventure games. If Watanabe is monkey, then he and Four Eyes were classmates. I'll try asking Four Eyes. Oh, leave the guy alone! <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't, I can't bear to torment him anymore. Uh, it's the city offices, right? <laughs> I arrive at city office. I'll try asking Four Eyes about monkey. Imagine just, like, you reduce him to tears and rip his wig off his head, and then you go back, like, an hour later. 
Yo. Could you tell me more about Monkey? <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean your former classmate, Monkey. <laughs> it's a good line, Tanaka. Uh, the Oba High School basketball, basketball team coach, Watanabe. You know him, don't you? He's got no reason to ever talk to us again. They called him Monkey back in high school, right? You were classmates in high school, weren't you? <laughs> Don't play dumb. I can hardly get a word out of him. What should I do? Should give him a banana? Let's give him a ball. <laughs> hey, you want this? <laughs> hey, was that the right thing to do? I went to school and got it signed. Jealous. <laughs> we are just harassing him again. <laughs> He's <laughs> horrified that we're tormenting students now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I just talked to him, jeez. <laughs> This game is too much. This is far too much. Uh, oh, come on. I just want to ask about Motanabe. <laughs> uh, by the way, how are, things, how are things between you and Misaki Murakami? These stupid little sleeves. <laughs> Is he embarrassed or what? Uh, cat charm? Uh, what happened to the cat charm? Welcome home! It's the return of Justina, folks. Uh, that didn't work. Have I got any other topics I could use to try and crack him? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hi! Oh, there he is. You know this guy, don't you? He doesn't even look at my phone. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? We've got the Ashikoshi sumo card for uh, for all the food that we eat. How about this... Uh... Oh, I guess it would probably be the newspaper article, huh? Please look at this. <laughs> He's given as good as he got now. Freaking liar. Cruise brochure. Don't need to show that. Um, list of names. I guess we'll do some thinking. So this guy has a lot of pride, huh? I'll try. <laughs> no! No! No, no, no! <laughs> ah, right, right. You probably weren't able to be friends with Watanabe. He was the hero of Matsue. How was your massage, Justina? Oh, it was like a workout. It was heavy. Holy moly. What you got, a, uh, a crayfish bowl? Salmon salad. Salmon salad. Uh, a girl boss is crushing it. You've heard it here for your... You've, oh, you've heard it here first, folks. We've got a girl boss crushing it in the house today. Uh, and you were four eyes, living your gloomy high school life. So it was like he was in a different world. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. Watanabe was a bright, shining hero, right? Uh-oh. What does that mean? Uh-oh. Is Monkey a bad guy? Uh, you know, don't you? Say it. Yep. It's all coming together. Forfeiture due to joint responsibility, huh? 
力事件を先生に告発したのはクラスメイトらしいですよ。うん、うん。Who reported monkey? そこまでは知りませんよ。ただ、女子らしいですよ。Oh, it was our lady friend, huh? In the letter, she said she did something bad to him. Hey, Red. How's it going? How's your Sunday? I have been enjoying the cooler weather over the past few days. It has been a sweet relief. Could it have been Aya? I'll come back if there's anything else. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we're bullying this poor man again.、Uh, Four Eyes goes off somewhere. I look at the clock. Hmm. It's almost time for the SS Swan to depart. Back to the boat we go.、Uh, so I believe this is the chapter. Yeah, this, this is a bully simulator. This is the chapter where we're going after the,、uh, the baseball coach. Probably going to make him cry, too. So we've been harassing、uh, baseball players at school, getting them to sign balls for us like they're big league players.、Uh, the SS Swan is docked. When I arrive at the boarding area, the captain is there. I love him. Captain, I have a favor to ask. Could you please show me the home run ball from 15 years ago?、Mm. The captain ponders it with a frown. What? Why is that? My lucky item. Uh, come on, is there anything I can do to change your mind? Well, well. I think we do. Visited the folks for Father's Day. Yeah, I better call my dad, actually. I'll have to do that after this. Quite a time difference, though. So,、uh, six hour difference? So it's three now. That would make it.、Uh, that would make it nine. Um, I'll give it a few hours. Only when they got him a card.、Um, I haven't sent my dad a card this year.、Um, a baseball signed by Matsui. I know. How about a signed ball from Oba High School's rising star, Matsui? Well, would you like to trade it for the home run ball? <laughs> trade it! Oh, he's done with it. Uh, I trade Matsui's signed ball for the home run ball. Just as I thought. It's signed Masaya Watanabe in neat handwriting. There it is. He was very quick to give that up. Made it in 10 seconds. <laughs> Still, it's the thought that counts, right? Making a card's even better than buying one. Um, I started out with such determination, but I couldn't find Watanabe, so I finally headed back to the inn. I wonder where I could find Watanabe. There's a knock at the door. Yes, it's open. Tomoko enters. Best character.、Uh, now, I think the captain's the best character so far. Thanks. Tomoko lays out the futon. What you got for us today, Tomoko? Where can I get a monkey mix? <laughs> Do you have any places that serve a cocktail called a monkey mix? Apparently, it's banana flavored. Are <laughs> we going to ask her out on a date?、Uh, oh, it's not that I'm a huge fan of bananas or anything. They're, oh, they're going to be so happy to see us at Nakamura Bar. Of course, how could I be so stupid? Watanabe was classmates with guys like Tanak Tanaka Nozu.、Uh, if he were to go out for a drink, it'd be there. I'll try going to the Nakamura Bar. I love that, like, we've already been kicked out of this bar once, and、um, again, since this game is a tie in with a tourist board, I looked it up and it's a real bar. <laughs> So it's like, 
<laughs> you know? Simulator of uh, go to this bar, make the staff really angry, and get kicked out. And then you can revisit it in real life. And hopefully not do that. Uh, I arrived at the Nakamura Bar. Watanabe is sitting alone at the counter. Is this seat taken? That's what I thought. This looks good. Bartender, please don't kick me out today. <laughs> That's what this whole game is, just harassing everybody. Uh, no worries, everybody had a bad has a bad night once in a while. I'll have a whiskey and water. <laughs> Good pose. Um, bartender brings me my drink. Is that a monkey mix you've got there, Mr. Watanabe? <laughs> Come on by. Can you have my headphones? Um, yeah, they are right here. Would you like a monkey mix cocktail? I don't think I would, actually. No, I don't think I would either. <laughs> Go around bullying people and getting kicked out of bars. Harassing students. <laughs> being accused of being a peeper and having to go sit in the staff room. Um, I wanted to chat with you, Mr. Watanabe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have something to say to you. What are we going to say to him? Uh, I met Matsui today. Matsui? <laughs> Yeah, I went and talked to your students. He thinks we're good friends, so please tailor your story accordingly when you see him later. <laughs> That's the right move, Watanabe. Oh, come on. I've got something I just gotta ask you. Fifteen years ago, I was pen pals with Aya Fumino from Matsue Oba High School. <laughs> Well, it was 15 years ago. Laugh all you want, but I got 10 letters written in her hand. In the letters I have, there are detailed accounts of her classmates. Uh-oh. There's a sound of a glass shattering. Nozu dropped a glass. <laughs> Why is he so agitated? That's personal information, so I can't say. <laughs> I think we're being very funny indeed. Uh, that's my line. Uh, Watanabe looks ready to start something. <laughs> Here we go. Pissing everybody off to the point that they give you free alcohol. Sure. Uh, you heard the man. Uh, the bartender serves us each a shot of the brandy. Okay. <laughs> What's this drink called? Oruho. I've never heard of it. I drink the Oruho. Mmm, it's good. If it's such a rare brandy, I should take a picture of the bottle. <laughs> We're so obnoxious! Uh, I take a photo of the Oroho bottle. <laughs> Over 30, and you still like banana flavored cocktails. <laughs> I drank a hell of a lot with Watanabe and got good and drunk. <laughs> What's happening? Ayafumino was in your class, right? I'm a little tipsy, but I note so I but I noticed the bartender watching me and texting someone. <laughs> Is the bartender gonna have us like beaten up and thrown in the river or something? Who was it sending me letters? Uh oh. No, oh, come on. I'm not much for scary stories. Huh? Not you, too. Iwamichi 
Oh, this is very scary. Oh, Borsh is in the hall. What a guy. Uh, Aya wasn't a princess. She was a high school student. <laughs> Watanabe pays his tab and leaves the bar. We found out nothing. I guess I should get going myself. <laughs> yeah, I'll walk it off around here before I head back to the inn. I pay the bartender and exit the shop. I'm walking around town. I'm near Namatsue Station trying to sober up when I notice somebody's hailing me. Some punk in his late 20s. The bartender is having us beaten up! <laughs> Am I being followed? Unbelievable. I got no business with you. <laughs> Imagine this guy saying, you gotta leave town by sunrise. <laughs> what a dork. Okay. Uh, this isn't a damn detective movie. Well, that's not a very convincing threat. There's no way I'd run home after something like that. <laughs> Oh, come on. The punk is getting ready to attack. <gasps> Watanabe to the rescue. It's Watanabe. One look at Watanabe's face and the punk runs away in a panic. Oh, my friend. Looks like the sight of you was enough to scare him away. <laughs> But surely they want the same thing. They all want us to leave, right? Um, why are you here? Hey, so why are you here? Were you following me? <laughs> Thanks to you, I drank too much. So I took a walk to help sober up. Oh, perhaps we're not so different. Hey, that punk called you monkey when he saw you. In her letters, Aya wrote about a wild classmate named Monkey who was on the baseball team. That was you, wasn't it? Oh man, I'm all sobered up now. Want to chat a bit somewhere? Well, he seems more charmed by us than anybody else, any of her other friends we've met so far. Looks like Nozu tried to have us beaten up. Four eyes, we just made cry multiple times. Uh, well, let's hear it. That punk saw you and called you monkey. You are monkey, right? <laughs> yeah, time to make him cry. <laughs> yeah, here we go. our big investigation scene okay the info in the letter and the article match he's got to be monkey what do we have here uh should probably save our game first right oh borscht here he is we've got the original borscht um i'll angle the camera so everybody can see the big boy himself i'll adjust my posture accordingly so uh there we go there we go. He had quite a hairball this morning. I was afraid that, like, I heard him heard him having quite a barf session, and I was afraid that, like, maybe he got into some food that he shouldn't have in the, in the night. Uh, but when I went to check, um, he had a very, very rare hairball, um, and he was uh, um, courteous enough to do it in the tub <laughs> so I could easily, um, easily uh, pick it up in a paper towel. And then uh, wash the scuzz away. But poor guy, he very, very rarely has hairballs. I'm not sure why. He's a very fluffy guy. Um, but it was just one of those days. One of those days for Big Borscht. Uh, we were out for a good long while uh, on the stoop yesterday, cooling off in the, uh, in the light rain. Uh, a lot of birds flying about. He was so excited. Uh, Watanabe is monkey. Can you tell me anything about this? I think we have to show him the ball first, right? Uh, 
Uh, maybe this. Maybe this first. Look at this! <laughs> yeah, what about it? In Aya's letter, she wrote that Monkey played in the baseball team and had a big part in the finals. I show him the copy of the newspaper article. And this is an article about the finals. Watanabe of Matsue Oba High School was three for four with one home run. You were the only one the paper even mentioned. No, this is you. Got a big old ball. <laughs> this orgy bottle. Um, there it is, the ball with his name on it. This is the proof. I show the home run ball I got from the captain. <laughs> Uh, the home run ball from that match. It's signed Masaya Watanabe in neat handwriting. <laughs> Lux, it's me. <laughs> Thank you for coming to this fabulous Father's Day stream. <laughs> Actually, I do. Uh, what do we have with his full name on it, huh? Oh, there it is. A picture of him uh, eating a whole bunch of food. This photo shows you from 15 years ago. Lux, you're just in time for us to... This is a bullying of strangers simulator. Um, uh, meant to promote um, uh, Matsue City. Uh, in conjunction with the tourism board. So you are in the right place for Father's Day. Uh, the name of this record holder is Masaya Watanabe. Are you still going to play dumb? <laughs> Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment. I hit balls, I eat food. <laughs> uh, I'll use max mode here. Well, this game t tells you everything you need to know about it. You're the monkey. <laughs> You must be Monkey. <laughs> you had a classmate named Aya Fumino, didn't you? <laughs> I'll use Max mode here. That's right. When I need to hype myself up. Okay, then who wrote this letter? The letter mentions you. You should know. Uh, then you leave me no choice. I'll have to ask you about that thing. <laughs> Trying on pants. <laughs> Lux, it's funny you should mention that. The first time you use max mode in this game, you um, uh, do it to shout your approval um, after eating a bowl of soba uh, at the chef. Um, what do we got? What do we got? Um, probably not that, right? A story he wants to forget. Oh, yeah. He could have won the championship, but he got in a fight. Uh, you got into a fight in the spring of your second year, didn't you? Oh, no. Uh, someone told the teachers about it, right? Who was it? <laughs> uh, Watanabe sounds about ready to slug me. Aya Fumino told on you, right? Are you still holding a grudge against her? <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so then... Then they could have won the championship if he didn't fuck it up. That's a lie! Uh, if she didn't report you, Oba High School would have been able to play in the Nationals. You're still holding a grudge against the girl who reported your fight. Well, I don't think this guy's going to cry, but he certainly doesn't seem very happy with us. Oh, you blew it. Uh, if she hadn't reported you, nobody would have been the wiser. 
Uh, I'll try agitating Watanabe to hear his true feelings. Uh, if that had happened, you would have probably become a total punk. This is purely speculation on my part, but if she hadn't reported you, you probably would have gotten into even more fights. Max mode here, too! Alright, what do we got here? Could have become a teacher, couldn't become a teacher. <laughs> Agitating Watanabe Fridays at 11. <laughs> you would have become an actual monkey. What does that even mean? <laughs> the correct response. Uh, that wasn't the best way to provoke him. <laughs> okay. Alright, so what do we have here? Probably the third one, right? The wrong path. Uh, you would have strayed from the right path. <laughs> I, like, I, I really love um, so much more. Like... <laughs> If you were a bad boy, you would have become a literal monkey. <laughs> uh, this game makes me lose it every time. Uh, you know it's true. You wouldn't be Coach Watanabe, hero to the baseball team. Unless she got you to stop picking fights. Uh, if you act without thinking, you can screw things up for yourself and others. That was the warning you needed, and it led you to become a great teacher. So tell me, what would you do if Matsui got into a fight? <laughs> if the only one who ever who knows about the fight is you, would you hide it? I'm guessing you wouldn't. What's the deal? Um, Matsui says you're teaching him how to be a good person. Uh, become first class people. Not first class not first class baseball players, right? You say some pretty good stuff for a monkey. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, your students really trust you. I'm a bit jealous. The team really loves you. <laughs> Meanwhile, nobody loves me. Oh, Matsui was going down the wrong path. Uh, when you were younger, that would have blown your mind. <laughs> and I'll use max mode here to make the final push. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, her, your friends, your parents, your own strength. I guess, yeah. We know. Whoa! just me hitting the microphone. Uh, it wasn't, was it? It's all about the dames. No, oh, I wasn't quick enough. <laughs> no, it wasn't my friends. That's not max mode, that's mini mode. So... How would we do this in the opposite of Max? Would be like, it was her who gave you that fresh start. <laughs> oh, we did make him cry, see? Uh, hey, you're crying. <laughs> Big dork. Uh, yeah. Could you, uh, read this letter and try to remember more about 15 years ago? I let him read the banana pattern <laughs> <笑>次の開けて松江は蒸し暑い日が続いています。そちらはどうですか？今日はクラスメイトのサル君のことを書きます。<笑><笑> Never 
彼に悪いことをしたかもしれないんです<笑> Nobody likes a snitch, come on The boar certainly doesn't. Good boy, buddy. <laughs><笑><笑> <laughs> On Deer Nights, this guy is beautiful here. He's known for his loyalty and is a tragic hero. That's our monkey. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I watch as Watanabe reads my letter from Aya. Uh, <laughs> tragic monkey hero. A regular Sun Wukong. Uh, looks like she was right about you. Why can't you be honest? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, when I look at Monkey, I think Tragic Hero. <laughs> well, with that face, yeah. Oh, Borsh, what are you doing? What's going on? What's happening, Borsh? <laughs> we got, got a Borsh on the desk. What's going on, buddy? Well. Well. Oh, good lord. This is uh, usually about the time of day that Borsh wakes up. The punkiest monkey that ever popped. <laughs> Very good. Uh, you lost points in the opening and got switched out, right? <laughs> Right, I have got fur flying everywhere right now. Isn't that right, Borscht? Right. This is about the time that he wakes up, so he's looking for some attention. I need a uh, bigger camera so he could be in shot while he's on the desk. I'll have to see about bringing that in this summer. So you put everything you had into batting to redeem yourself. <laughs> Scores and memories are different. Uh, I don't really know what that means. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? What do you think, Borscht? He's not sure either. Oh, here we go. The origin story. The crack of the bat. The jump of the monk. He did it. Yay. Yay. Wow, he got a full head of hair over the years. He was more receding than the other guy, where they just used the smudge tool on him. Wow, we did it. <laughs> Even me? Uh, I'm a sucker for a good sports story. <laughs> I don't know. What is it, Borscht? <laughs> uh, the Great Tragic Heroes, Oedipus, Hamlet, <laughs> um, uh, Oconquo, and Monkey. So, something happened to her. Uh, is there really no student named Ayafumino? Then who wrote this letter? Everybody's giving us a real hard time about these letters. Oh, well. 
Uh, I shouldn't tell him about the eleventh letter. Hey, K. Price, how's it going? How's your Sunday? <laughs> Whoa! I've got a uh, I've got cat fluff just flying everywhere right now, um, into my water glass. That explain why I got fluff in my mouth earlier. Do you remember your third year? <laughs> You got the vaccine! Congratulations! I hope you're not feeling uh, too, uh, too rough side effects. I, I didn't get any um, except uh, the, uh, the old sore arm. Uh, but I guess we'll see how I, uh, how I get on in uh, August when I get my second shot. Uh, that was Borscht you just heard. You'll probably see him in a minute. Uh, me too. My last year of high school career is uh, weirdly vivid in memory. Uh, I was worrying and suffering with college exams. Uh, amidst that, the letters uh, from her were my emotional support. Far away, in a city I'd never been to, there were people suffering through college exams like me. It's not just me. It's the same for everybody, I thought. <laughs> What's what's the vaccine situation in Kansas, Lux? Why not? I passed 30, and I felt like being sentimental. More importantly, who wrote this letter? Just then. Watanabe's cell phone gets a text. What kind of ringtone is that? Watanabe's expression changes as he reads the text. What happened? Red's getting his vaccine? In a week? That's awesome. A ghost? No, Lux, that sounds unsurprising, but that's the worst. Um, I'm uh, sorry to hear it. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah, the um, uh, the the availability in uh, uh, poorer countries, especially, or or countries that are not part of the Western hegemony, are uh, uh, very, very, um, very shitty indeed. Um, we got a bunch here because. Um, uh, Oxford, uh, Oxford was one of the leading leading developers uh, of uh, of a few of the vaccines. Um, but you know, then again, a lot of the vaccines had leading developers in um, Asia and the global South, and they're not. And you know, despite having that role, they're not not uh, not getting not getting it at all. Uh, Japan hasn't finished vaccinating frontliners. I've heard that they're having um, yeah that they've had a um, they've had a bit of a surge in uh, cases again. And uh, there has been uh, there have been more stay-at-home uh, orders and initiatives. Um, yeah, Lux, we'll have to find a way to stay in touch now that I'm no longer allowed on Twitter. Um, oh, come on! I bet everybody heard that. That was loud. Uh, let's change the topic. Oh, max mode. Digits, favorite food. Drinks tomorrow. Oh, Shimaneko. Oh. Uh, I, I I tried to start two new accounts. Um, and one I even... One I started yesterday um, with a VPN and a new browser and a fresh email address. Um, and it got... I don't know how they knew, but they knew. Um, can I get your email address? <laughs> oh, I guess that's what we're getting. <laughs> uh, if something does happen, I could use your help again. <laughs> the game is helping us out here. We got it. Uh, I traded cell phone numbers and email addresses with Monkey. Now I have someone I can count on if I get in trouble here. Look at this, we made a friend. I wanted to talk to him about Shimaneko, but I, I couldn't... I couldn't get the max mode to behave. 
I, that's right, Borscht. They call me Max. I can't give up? Not until I get some answers. Fatty? Fatty must be one of Aya's classmates. <laughs> for those of you, for those of you who did, who who um, are only joining us this week and didn't join us last Sunday, um, we 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 did ask we did ask a woman if her name was Bitch to her face, um, and she was um, not happy. <laughs> uh, that's right. We've got we've got a Discord now. Um, it's it's small. Um, it'll probably be fun. Borscht! What's going on? Borscht, what have you got to say about it? Let's see if I can mic up Borscht. Borscht! What's up? What's up, Borscht? What's going on? Now he gets all shy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that guy running a cake shop if nothing happened. Watanabe looks sad. Who's fatty? God. Uh, with that, what? <laughs> Borscht! <laughs> this gave me a surprise. I don't know how a cat can tickle you, but he gave me a surprise. Um, <laughs> with that, Watanabe staggers home. Um, it was midnight when I got back to the Matsue Inn. I wrote down my findings in my notebook. <laughs> there she is, the bitch. Platypus box, hello to you. Is that private platypus? Uh, I was able to talk with Four Eyes and Monkey, but both of them clammed up when it came to Aya. Still, I feel like I'm getting closer to her. Maybe I'll finally see Aya tomorrow. There we go. Banana stationery. Has been solved. And now we're on to candy stationery. Changing usernames. Well, hello to you. Pri uh, platypus. Not private platypus, but platypus. How is your Sunday going? How has your weekend been? How are you in general? Um, it's been four days since I arrived in Matsue. I hear birds chirping. Following what was written in the letters led me to Four Eyes and Monkey, but they both denied Aya's existence. Something happened 15 years ago, but I have no idea what. I take out the letters from my bag. Uh, I should read another letter. It's a cute envelope with candy print. This is the seventh letter, postmarked November 19th. So we're just kind of reading them in like a weird order, huh? Here we go. Is this actually bad? Um, I would say that it's a kusoge for different reasons, other than being, other than being completely bad. This is incredibly entertaining, um, but it's very, very strange. Could you imagine if you had a friend who was writing about you to her pen pal and was like, oh yeah, my friend Fatty. My friend Fatty loves cakes. <laughs> I wish Fatty would get stronger. I don't think he can. <laughs><笑><笑> Uh, well, um, I, I haven't caught all of them. I mean, Four Eyes is, is, uh, Megan, um, uh, Megane, um, which I guess tracks, and, and, and Bitch is just Bitch. <laughs> no, Bitch, Bitch is Beachy. Um, 
<laughs> it's pretty unique to think of yourself as an ideal, but some things are more important than money. P.S. Do you think men and women can really be friends? Well, what did we write back? Uh, yeah, um, Platypus, this, uh, this is a uh, collaboration between Katakawa Games and um, the Matsue Tourist Board, um, uh, along with the artist for uh, Konami's Love Plus. Um, it is uh, uh, trying to uh, attract young'uns to uh, Shimane Prefecture um, to uh, see the beautiful sights of Matsue City. Uh, but they couldn't just do that, so they've um, included a, a, a sort of strange love mystery story, where we are a uh, we are a very we're a very unpleasant thirty year old uh, who has uh, been uh, thinking about their pen pal they had when they were fifteen, um, and uh, trying to track her down and harassing all of her friends in the process. Um, it's it's really weird like you you get kicked out of a bar but you can look it up and it's like oh this is a real bar it's one that you should visit so it's um it's a very odd way to do your uh your tour uh, borscht your uh, tourism uh 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 your tourism game uh this did have a follow-up this year uh called root film which i don't believe has a tie-in to any tourism boards um and that is written by uh hifumi kono the creator of the clock tower series um, I don't know a whole lot about that, um, other than uh, Max Mode returns, and I think you're making you're making a film instead of looking at letters. But um, I will I will be checking that out after we finish this. I'm enjoying this a lot. It is complete nonsense though, and your character is completely un unsympathetic. Yes, Katakawa Shoten, <laughs> purveyor of all fine books and visual novels. Um, You'll notice uh, we haven't seen much art here. Uh, this is the remaster, which gives you the option to uh, substitute uh, the Love Plus artist's uh, character designs with photographed actors. And you better believe we're doing this. Um, Platypus, I do recommend checking this out. Apparently it has um, a whole bunch of different endings too, a la uh, Kama Kamai Tachi no Yoru or, um, or Radical Dreamers, where uh, the choices that you make will... Um, change the genre completely like for the final chapter or so i think 428 did that as well um <laughs> yeah absolutely we're doing the photo playthrough uh 428 is an actual good game um that's very very fun i do recommend playing that okay what did i write back to her all right we'll skip through so i can zoom in because it's very hard to... Because it, it just, like, stops halfway through and goes to... Goes to <laughs> I like girls. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. Uh, thanks for your... Thank you for your letter. Tokyo's having lots of cold days, too. It sounds like you have some kind classmates. I think kindness is strength. If you aren't strong yourself, you can't be kind to others. <laughs> if you can't love yourself, how, you, how the hell are you going to love anybody else? Uh, that's why I think fatty is strong. I'd like to try those berry tarts he makes. The people all around... The people around me all lack kindness. Everything's a showdown. Everyone's trying to prove they're number one. It's really annoying. In terms of seriousness, naturally I'm number one. I wrote something really Max-like again. <laughs> uh, Love Plus. Um, Love Plus was a, um, it's a Kon uh, Konami um, dating sim uh, for uh, the DS. Um, most uh, infamous, uh, most infamous for that that uh, otaku who had like a fake wedding ceremony to marry his DS, uh, his love plus girlfriend. Um, I guess it like um, it used the camera of the DS. So like if somebody else would pick up your DS, your your love plus girlfriend would be like, oh, I don't recognize you. Who are you? Leave me alone. And I, I think it was like less of a Toki memo thing and more like, I don't know, like more like Nintendogs with a girl, I guess. <laughs> There was quite a stir over it for a while. Uh, you haven't been feeling well. Now I'm a little worried. Maybe you're nervous with with exams approaching. You can't control what happens in life too much. Try relaxing a little. Although, maybe I should put in a little more effort myself. Shadow Shogun was a movie by Akio Kurosato, right? I still haven't seen it. I want to when I get a chance. Nintendames! Max. P.S. Women are self-centered. I can't be friends with them. I like girls. 
Uh, that's why I can only view them romantically. Uh, things like gender and nationality don't matter. I want to be friends with everyone. <laughs> Borished, my god. Uh, it, it would be great if women, if men and women could be friends, uh, but it eventually turns to love. <laughs> I mean, like, this is, like, probably the best possible answer, and it smacks of, like, I don't see race. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, going with our true asshole playthrough, <laughs> writing to my pen pal, women are self-centered, I can't be friends with them, Porsche is... Portion's complaining. <laughs> what do you think of your own personality? <laughs> what do you think of men who like history? <laughs> what do you think of history buffs? Don't stump this buff. <laughs> I do you like history? <laughs> Taking a break from sucking this bag of dicks to pontificate on whether men and women can be friends. Platypus, do you see why? Uh, do you see why I think this is pretty good? So, uh, do you <laughs> can be friends? Do you like aliens? I hate women, but I love aliens. <laughs> Borscht is yeah, Borscht is uh. Borsh is, scre is screaming at me for being a misogynist. <laughs> I wrote a decent response. <laughs> God, I'm punching the microphone in a fury. <laughs> uh, suddenly, a strong wind shakes the window. Uh, whoa! <laughs> oh, hello, woman. I got scared by the wind. Don't mind me. Uh, Tomoko comes into the room. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Don't worry, I haven't seen a ghost in this room yet. <laughs> oh, I'm nearly crying. <laughs> and my head hurts from laughing. Uh, would you knock it off? Monkey said, Aya Fumino's spirit lives at Oba High School. Maybe it really is a ghost. <laughs> the legend of Flat Stanley! Sign me up. She's just trying to scare me. But could I really be possessed? They say the Fumino residence is haunted. I'm not thrilled about it. But maybe I should at least check it out. Are we going back to the vac vacant lot? Oh, please. Uh, a ghost! The bartender said she was princess of the forest. I wonder what that means. Um, Tomoko, can you sense the supernatural? Oh, wow. What? You're kidding, right? Oh, you got tips. Tips from your ghost boss. Oh. You have to stop that, seriously. I hate women and I'm scared of ghosts. Do you like aliens? <laughs> Do you know anyone who is knowledgeable about folklore and ghost stories? Mm. What's he like? Borsh is so mad at me. <laughs> And where do I go to find him? That's the park around Matsue Castle, right? Tomoko finishes putting away the futon and leaves the room. I'll go to Shiriyama Park while it's still light out. Where are we going? Going to the park, huh? Alright. Not go to the vacant lot today. Maybe later. I arrive at Shiriyama Park, a spacious park with lush greenery. Should check our guide. Oh, Matsue Castle is in the center of the park. The castle is a natural is a national heritage site. The tall central tower is covered in clapboard painted. Clapboard painted black. The whole thing has a dignified, elegant feel. Nice scenery. This is supposedly where I can find Kurai. But right now I only see tourists. Let's read our guidebook. 
The extensive castle grounds known as Shiroyama Park consists of an inner and outer citadel. Inside is a castle keep, Matsui Shrine, Shiroyama Inari Shrine, and other sites. It's filled with greenery and is famous for sakura blossoms in the spring. Well, now we know. I decided to look at the map. Uh, there's a tourist information center. I can ask. I can ask there. All right. I want to meet that old man with the cotton ball, uh, cotton ball eyebrows again. I think we might. Uh, they're selling souvenirs and books about Matsue Castle. It feels more like a little shop than an information center, but I'll try talking to an employee. Yes. Oh, who's that? What's that poster? Who are those boys? Hang on. Who are these fellas? Uh, there are cool posters up here. That's it? Uh, uh, it just says Shimane in the corner, and the uh, kanji at the top is uh, too blurry for me to make out. Um, I'm, you know, I guess they must be the Shimane boys. Hello. Hi. What's up, Borf? My god. Early for your no, he's always Pippin, isn't he? Uh, excuse me. Hey, Fates, how's it going? You're just in time for us to, um, harass this, uh, employee of, um, of the park. Yes. Good evening from Borsh. He's been shouting away. Uh, I'm looking for Reichi Kurai. Do you know where he might be? <laughs> He's like, yeah, what are you doing? This is the tourism center. Uh, right, right, sorry. <laughs> I might as well get something here. And Muzubi water. I certainly will. What else do you have? <laughs> she does look harassed. The Fumino house was burned to the ground. I think I'd better get this charm. I'll take one. Welcome. Uh, you said you're looking for Reichi Kurai. Oh, that's what she said. That's what she said! <laughs> uh, yeah, do you know where he is? Hey, Fates. It's not me. We're just role-playing the worst man of all time. Um, thank you. Grove of the Village Shrine, huh? Worth a shot. Let's look at our, uh, let's look at our new fox, uh, charm. Oh my god. <laughs> what do we got here? Uh, it's the charm that we bought from Shiryama Park Tourist Information Center. It's supposed to protect you from Fox's mischief. No Kitsune is going to burn down our house. Yeah, Borscht is in a very... You're in a mood today, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> uh, where did they tell us to go? I can just I completely spaced the forest. Okay. Go for a nice forest walk. Uh, the new green leaves. Uh, from the trees. Cover my view of the sky. This feels creepy. Better head to the grove. I know. Uh, I'll, take, I'll take him out after dinner. It's not nearly dinner time for him, though. It's like an hour and 15 minutes until he eats. Maybe I'll take him out before. Uh, wait, I think I'm lost. Where am I? Kiharu Cafe. Hmm. Huh. Since I'm here, I think I'll take a break. Uh, there are a couple of tourists inside the shop. I order the Jonama sweet set, and they bring me some matcha tea and fresh artistic handmade sweets with a motif based on the Four Seasons. Uh, Japan loves its Four Seasons, don't they? Um, I eat the fresh sweets and drink the matcha tea. Building small wooden maquettes. My goodness. Uh, the fresh sweets are delectable and pairs well with the subtle bitterness of the matcha. Matsue has quite an array of delicious things. So we're just saying this out loud to ourselves, sitting at a table. A bushy-haired man in Japanese dress sits down next to me without making a sound. Holy shit. Hmm. 
I need a minute. What happened here? <laughs> Are you Mr. Kurai? <laughs> Found a guy. <laughs> there he is. Like, we've had a couple of guys turn up in this game um, with some very, very fake hair. And I'm just, you know, I try to think of, of what I would do if somebody with a very obviously um, fake, exaggerated mustache came up to me and acted serious. Uh, this guy's giving me the chills just by being here. A harem of pregnant model. Oh my god. What is that, the Neon Demon? I don't know if there's any pregnant models in uh, Neon Demon. Yatsuo Mitsu uh, Kemashita. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, sir. Bad batch. Uh, no, wait. Please wait. Please. No scary stories without discretion. Um, uh, I already know which one I want to hear anyway. I'd like to see Neon Demon. I haven't. I haven't seen it. The only uh, Wending Raffin movie I've seen uh, has been... I've only seen Drive. And I want to see Neon Demon. And I want to see uh, Only God Forgives as well. I hear that's... I've heard mixed things about it, but it sounds alright to me. Um, so this guy's... We're, he's freaking us out. Where... Where even... Oh, God. He's just circling me and screaming now. Um, yeah, I've heard mixed things about Neon Demon as well. but it, it's, it's coming in on the monitor. <laughs> He's really loud today. What's going on? Uh, are there really such things as curses? I should probably finish it for so I can entertain him. Uh, only Va God Forgives is pretty bad. Probably worth checking it out. <laughs> Did not enjoy it. Uh, what? What? I want to know. Did you know about the house that's haunted by a ghost? <laughs> uh, yeah, even if a film's not good, strong reactions do make um, do make it worth a look. Like when Justina and I watched The Pest. Ah, uh, that is an that is an evening I'm not going to forget. That was a good start to the year. Ah, uh, its identity. Someone I know. This guy's messing with us. Um, is he talking about Aya? Yeah, I'm done with Gaspar. No. <laughs> I'm done with it. Uh, what I want to know is the story about Oba High School. The one I want to hear is the story about the female student who died 25 years ago. Uh-oh. You're trying to scare me, huh? I won't fall for that. <laughs> Kurai begins to speak to me in a voice as dark as his humor. What happened with this girl? Uh, how do you know her name? Kurai doesn't answer that question. That was... That was the latest movie he did, right? I, I, I kept seeing the posters uh, just before... Um, I kept seeing the posters just before uh, the pandemic hit. And it was like, this this film poster looks like Glee. Um, but it's got Gaspar Noe's name on it. Oh, that must be a bad time. 
<laughs> I think it was called Climax, wasn't it? It was his latest one. Uh, hmm. Ooh, leaving behind her wish in this world. Her best friend died. Uh, it sounds like this ghost story is for real. Oh, no, no. Now, I've seen enough of his oeuvre from my lifetime. Uh, some students are chatting. Very scary. Uh, immediately in the wheelhouse, but then I watched them and <laughs> near fatal psychic damage. Yeah. I think I might have told this story before of like uh, when I when I turned 18 and I was like I'm going to I'm going to seek out I'm going to seek out the edgy art movies um and I bought myself a copy of uh, Irreversible um and then I watched that and I was like oh this, this isn't a good time at all <laughs> um but yeah I saw I saw Into the Void or Enter the Enter the Void Enter the Void comes up quite a bit on this stream uh, I saw Enter the Void um, at the cinema with my ex, and um, we we both hated it. Absolutely, absolutely hated it. Um, all right, use of Hamburger Lady by Throbbing Gristle, which uh, coincidentally, the song playing right now kind of sounds like. Yeah, I would take Irreversible over Enter the Void any day of the week. <laughs> あの噂、事実らしいわよ。それじゃあ、私たちのクラスで誰かが死ぬの死にたくなかったら幽霊と友達にならんようにするんだ。キャリスケリー。でも、声をかけられたら終わりでしょ。呪いを止める方法はないか
Uh, it, it must be your imagination. I can't deal with this. It's a scary story. My legs won't stop shaking. I wish I didn't tell that ghost that I hated women. W what happens to the pen pals? <laughs> His hat. At that moment, thunder rumbles in the skies above. Ah. That story is just a bunch of nonsense anyway. It's fiction, I I isn't it? Oh, come on. My mind has gone totally blank from hearing Kurai's story. When I come to, Kurai is gone. <laughs> Leaving us at the table. You can pick up the tab. Hey, Kurai. Uh, I look around and spot him walking outside the shop. When did he leave? When I try to leave the shop, the shop lady grabs my arm. <laughs> oh, right. I lose sight of Karai while paying the bill. It looked like he was headed down the street I came from. He just conned us out of a cake. Uh, I run out. There are still thick gray clouds covering the sky. The forest is dim and gives off a suspicious aura. Anatomy of Hell. Okay, I have heard of that, but I uh, haven't seen it. Uh, <laughs> have more fun and possibly even learn something from Sono or Mika. Yeah. Sano is really fun. I really, really like. Uh, I really, really like his his stees. I haven't seen his latest. Uh, I think he's got like a. It's kind of like a, a an Amazon Prime original series as well. Uh, I look around, but there's no sign of anyone. Uh, no, doing it at this age is a bit cringe. Yeah, it's like um. <laughs> It's like, uh, it's like, um, this is like being Marilyn Manson at age 60, <laughs> you know? I lost sight of Curly after all. I know that's not a popular comparison since he's, um, finally having his day of reckoning, but, um, you know, old man Marilyn Manson, or old man... Old man Gaspar now. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, that story about the curse has to be made up. I'm sure it's all just a lie. A fat man comes walking this way. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, I know. I'll look for fatty next. <laughs> the fat man glares at me. <laughs> oh, they gave him a fat voice. <laughs> no, nothing, sir. Uh, the man walks away. <laughs> fatty. Hang on. I think Monkey was saying something, but what was it? Think about Fatty. Oh, I remember. Monkey said <laughs> Monkey had said Fatty works at the cake shop. <laughs> and in her letter, Aya wrote that Fatty's berry tarts are delicious. Fatty must be someone who's fat and works at a cake shop that sells delicious berry tarts. Uh, with this much information, I can start stalking that fat man. Uh... <laughs> I wonder how many cake shops there are in Matsue. I'll try looking it up. Debu? Yeah, um, I haven't caught it yet, so... Um, I guess... Uh, I guess we'll have a listen the next time it comes up and it's spoken. Uh, there are more shops than I thought. If I go to all of these, I'll be the... If I go to all of these, I'll be the fatty. <laughs> fatty must be somebody who's fat. Thank you, game. Uh, I suppose I have no choice to try. Uh, no choice but to try. Um, I'll start in the Kiyomise, uh, Kiyomise shopping area. There's a lot of cake shops there. Well, hey, excuse me. I'm looking for the fat man. Can you help me? Uh, it's like horrible Shenmue. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> fat Japanese versus fat American can be different standards, indeed. Uh, UK probably, probably close to, uh, close to. Mm, I don't know if it is close to America. Maybe it's between the two. Uh, the Kyoto-style streets are lined with stylish stores and unique shops. Retro lampposts and stone-paved pathways give off a tasteful charm. 
the place is buzzing with young women. It it is a stereotype here in the UK that Americans are uh, that all Americans are fat. <laughs> uh, I arrive at Kiyomise shopping area. It's a shopping area reminiscent of the Meiji and Showa eras. I think they said that the last time we were here. There's a cake shop called Satan Do. Uh, I think I'll try there first. Hey Satan, I'm looking for a fat man. I come out from the shop. There were no fat people in there. They looked at me funny when I, st when I stared around the shop. I'm just a sketchy guy like this. There must be a better way. Um, Brits become very, very ruddy. Yeah, the old, the old gammon. Uh, as I stand there thinking, a female customer comes out of Satan Do, carrying the cake she bought. I know. I'll try asking the customers. <laughs> Just this lady trying to carry her cake. Be like, hey, we're looking for fat people. Uh, I'm looking for a cake shop. Do you have any recommendations? Okay, that's a better. That's a better way. Holy moly! <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Fates, for the uh, for the subscription with Prime. Eleven months. Thank you so much. Um, how about the shop that I just came up came out of? You want to try that? Uh, and patisserie pure. Uh, are any of the managers or employees fat? Uh, I've got the screen covered up. The, do I have the um, Do I have the butt shaker from Alex Kidd as the uh, sub animation? I hope I do. Uh, that doesn't seem like the place. Are there any more? Nice. Patisserie bun. <laughs> Are there any fat employees shaking that bun? Only God forgives his doll. Um, might be that shop. I'll try going to that shop. Thanks. Uh, I thank the lady and leave, ignoring the look she gives me. It's like, what's wrong with this guy? Uh, shoot, I forgot to ask where Patisserie Bunt it was. Oh, fortunately, we got a guidebook. Uh-oh. We got a fuss cam, folks. I've got a special <laughs> special camera set up just for the occasion. All right. Oh, here we go. I'm getting mic'd up. How you doing, buddy? Whoa. How you doing? How you doing? You're very emotional today, huh? goes. There he goes. What's going on? What's going on, huh? What's going on in your heart of hearts? That's a wonderful idea. Uh, yes, I'll continue to fuss with him. You grab some, some chicken legs. Some stuff is going to happen, folks. Some some hitherto unforeseen stuff. Oh, Borsh! Borsh, come back. I've been left standing on my own. Porsche. Come on up. Oh. Come on up. Come on up. Get up. Come on up. Oh god. Woo! So back up he goes. We got some we got a chicken stick here. It's like pudding. It's like gogurt actually for cats. <laughs> there we go. Good boy. Some more, sir. <laughs> it's getting on his face. <laughs> it's on your nose, Borscht. <laughs> Shall I rip it off the window? Yeah, if you could. <laughs> a little bit more, a little bit more. Just a little bit. Because he's such a good boy. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> there we go. That's that, that's that. Good boy, good boy. I hope I don't get banned uh, from that. There's that, um... Didn't Amaranth get banned for doing some kind of microphone licking? 
<laughs> uh, Fates is complimenting your hair, oh my God. Christina. <laughs> so I hope that was satisfactory for everybody. Um, and we're back. Thank you that very much, uh, Fates, and thank you, Borscht. I hope that was I hope that was enjoyable for everybody. Uh, Drakengard challenge points. Thank you very much, Fates. We are going to have a bad old time. Okay. Uh, we can go a bit longer today. Hey, fellas. This is Tori Amos, and I love me some big mommy milkers. Thank you for that message. Uh, Borsh can do no wrong. <laughs> Borsh is a good boy. I'm glad that he is being recognized for his achievements here. Mm -hmm. uh, here it is. It's no, not so far from here. I head for patisserie bunt. Isn't bunt fun to say? Uh, I come back from the shop. There wasn't anyone who seemed like they could be uh, fatty in Patisserie Bunt either. <laughs> Borsh is emotional on Father's Day. Ah, oh, Red, thank you uh, for donating to the Drakengard Challenge. Invent a rice dish and name it after Borscht. You could invent a, uh, a beetroot soup and name it after him. Uh, it looked so good, I couldn't help but buy their latest creation, Choco Potato Chips LL Size. All right, we got to look at this in the inventory. They look delicious, but they must be loaded with calories. Private, uh, nope, platypus box as well. Uh, contributing to the Drakengard challenge. Thank you so much. We are going to have so much fun. Uh, looking at all these sweet foods is making me crave something more savory. Uh, I know, I'll go to Kamiarian. We're going to go see our best friends. The guys who um, accept us for who we are. The uh, cook and the waiter of the Soba house. Um. <laughs> I looked. Uh, I walk into Kamiarian. There are a few customers here and there. It feels like I'm home. Sanpei comes over. <laughs> I look at the menu. I'll have the grilled mackerel meal. All right. I was going to make some grilled mackerel tonight, uh, but I couldn't get any mackerel, so I got some trout. Uh, Sanpei repeats my order in a lively voice and goes to the kitchen. As lively as usual. After a while, Sanpei brings over the grilled mackerel meal. He lays out bowls of rice, miso soup, grilled fish, tofu, and one more side that I don't recognize on the table. What's going on, buddy? Uh, the grilled fish looks delicious. What's in this little bowl? Genkichi comes out from the kitchen, just running out. <laughs> Sliced koi. Look, fat, look, here's the deal. <laughs> Thank you, Prez. Uh, I tried the sliced koi. Hmm, good. Uh, we're filling in our um, sam uh, we're filling in our sumo legs and hips card. Uh, Genkichi stamps the ko card on my rally card on the uh, stamps the ko on my stamp rally card. Sanpei's frightening eyes. Uh, I'd rather not have to extend my stay that long, but. Koi swim against the tide and waterfalls and all kinds of salmony things. I don't know. I don't know much about the behavior of koi outside of a koi pond. Uh, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, sort of. Say, I haven't shown Genkichi the photo of Aya yet. Oh, actually, I want to look. I want to look at those potato chips up close and personal. My goodness, Borscht. Never satisfied. There they are, chocolate potato chips. It looks like a Pocky, but like on top of a ruffle. Uh, sweets I bought from Patisserie Bunt. The name fits. They look tasty but fattening. <laughs> I'd rather not extend my stay. What is the tourism board even paying for? That's right. <laughs> um, yeah, you probably shouldn't be eating koi. Um... Oh, God. Oh my god, Borscht. 
<laughs> what is going on today? Uh, it's this person. Do you know her? I show Genkichi the photo of Aya. It's a photo from 15 years ago, so she'd be 32 years old now. Genkichi stares fixedly into the photo. He looks very depressed. Uh, do you know her? This game is full of good faces. Uh, I had high hopes because of how stuffy he acts, but I guess he wouldn't know a high school girl. I guess not. Karakoro Studios. What is that? Uh, the art studio from the letter. Okay. Do you know about Karakoro Art Studio? What on earth? What has gotten into you today? Oh my gosh. Uh, pretty boy on the left looks scared. <laughs> Makatama beads. Seems like they've got a wide variety of activities. Where are you going now? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, without Koi, what would wealthy Japanese men do in movies games besides feeding the Koi? Because an all-timer moment of the Trump presidency was him just like dumping all that food into the Koi pond. Because he got bored. Um... Are your ears okay, Fates? Um... <laughs> Is there a cake shop around here with a fat employee? Genkichi hands me a flyer for patisserie pure. First gig, who did you go to see, Fates? Patisserie pure. I've heard of them before. On the flyer is a photo of a tall, slender, handsome head chef. It says his name is Jun Amori. This is gonna be, uh... This is gonna be the big twist, isn't it? That fatty got slim. It's a big success story. He's probably not fatty. Table service and food. That does sound better. Uh, no leads, huh? Well, I guess I'll go look for clues at Kiyomase's shopping area again. I like the idea of like going to see black metal, but it's uh, like a, a sit-down uh, jazz club with dinner service. Uh, I seem to have made a good impression on Genkichi of Kamiarian. He only charged me half price for my meal that day, too. Uh, Kiyomase shopping district again. Orange Goblin! What am I... I don't think we're going to see anything for the foreseeable. I came back to Kiyomise shopping area. Uh, I guess I'll go to the cake shops one at a time and look for Fatty. <laughs> Marduk at the ballroom. <laughs> With table service. That sounds delightful. I come out of the cake shop. No one seemed to be Fatty at this shop. I wonder if there's any, w <laughs> any other way to look for Fatty. Let's go to the library and look up uh, famous... Famous fat people in uh, Matsue. I'm feeling very uncomfortable with this, I gotta say. Um, it feels very body shamey. Uh, I'm mulling it over when a tanned macho man with uh, a shining white teeth approaches me. He doesn't look that macho. He's faking it. You can see his nipples, though. Not really. <laughs> like I said, that's not it. <laughs> you look depressed. Yes. Who are you? Alright. I'm not interested in diets. Did he just scream guts? Uh, the jock type, huh? I'm not into that type of stuff. 
体を鍛えましょうダイエットしましょう日焼けしましょうガーッ Yes Just zooming in further and further. Oh, Forrest, that's not what I meant. I'm sorry, buddy. No, thanks. Ah, Rizeller. Rizeller? Alright. Uh, Natsui hands me a brochure. The brochure has before and after photos of anonymous Rizeller clients, along with their comments. I see. As I look it over, something draws my attention. All through high school, I was overweight, and my friends called me fatty. But coming to the studio helped me lose weight. Unlike before, I'm now proactive about everything I do, and I have new confidence in myself. I can't get stuck on one idea. He might not be fatty anymore. Fatty might have lost weight. Could the guy in this brochure be? Could it be? Guts. Guts. Yeah. Uh, where's the brochure? I guess that's it. They are walking a bit of a tightrope. Yes, they are. Uh, this is pretty common in um, uh, Japanese popular culture. Uh, who's the man in your brochure? Oh, baby. Not like that. Tell me who this person is. Come on, what's the big deal? Are we gonna go... <laughs> Tell me who he is, Max! Are we gonna go to the club? Uh, he's the head chef at the cake shop, right? You're tight-lipped, huh? I stare at the after photo in the flyer. I've seen this guy somewhere before. This guy. Could he be? I take out the patisserie pure flyer and compare it to the photo of the head chef. It's the same guy. Uh, worldwide beauty standards and advertising. Oh, that does sound like a very interesting one. Uh, Mr. Natsui, you're an instructor, right? What was the name of the documentary, Fates? Do you know the head chef of patisserie pure? I love his face. Goat. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So I guess we use the flyer, huh? This photo is of Omori, the head chef of the pit of Patisserie Pure, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I like how one is a photo and one is anime. Hey. I, I should probably finish pretty soon and take him out, and we can finish Chapter 4 uh, next Sunday. Could you please tell me about him? If you won't tell me, I'll tell everyone that you're soliciting your studio in front of cake shops. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a pretty rude thing to do. Then please tell me about Omori. You want a fat chef? I see. A sound argument. What a guy. Uh, anything in particular that stood out to you? I love that we've got the chorus from Borscht today. He's particularly noisy, uh, this stream. Uh, he wanted to change his weak self. Amori has got to be fatty. Thanks. Not so he leaves. Uh, maybe I should hit up Patisserie Pure. Uh, we will do Patisserie Pure. Uh, and then... We'll do Patisserie Pure, and then I'm going to have to stop for the, uh, for the afternoon. Uh, but I am here every Sunday uh, from 2 p.m. British summertime. That is 2, uh, 14 minus 6. That's 8 a.m. Central time. 9 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, I arrive at Patisserie Pure. It's an elegant little cake shop. 
Uh, on the brand new awnings are the words Patisserie Pure. The Illusionists. Okay, I don't know what Canopy is. I guess it's a streaming site. Um, I will look into that. Thank you very much, Fates. Sounds interesting. Um, oh, right, the, the AKB48. Um, AKB48 and all their offshoot groups, and then they did the, uh, the CGI of all of them together uh, for the new member. I remember that. I do have a, I do have a uni email address actually. I can probably access that. Uh, looks like an elegant, cute shop. In we go. The first meeting with Fatty. Uh, the shop's interior is bright and clean. They have chocolate cakes, cheesecakes, and other standards in display cases. Uh, there's a note that says delicious yet low calorie. Find our new try our new chocolate cake. Find our new chocolate cake. Uh, a cheerful young woman is helping the customers. Her name tag says Yuka Fukui. Oh, she is very dandy. Look at that hat. I love the outfit. It's like anime cosplay. That's not like a real chef. Uh, the woman who works here is cute. How much is it? Uh, <laughs> this is my first time here. Would you give me a moment, please? Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, thanks, I'm indecisive. She's reading our mind. She's so nice. Uh, I'll look around the shop a bit. I pretend to look at the cakes as I survey the inside of the shop. Thinking about cakes. This shop has a wonderful atmosphere. Thank you very much, K-Price, uh, for uh, the stink bucks towards the Dragon Guard 100% run challenge. We're gonna see all the uh, all the nasty grotesqueries. We're gonna we're gonna get all the weapons. We're gonna play Simon Says with a, with a big old statue. It's gonna be a hoot. Uh, there are lots of delicious looking cakes in the showcase. Uh, more cakes there. More cakes over here. Anything else? We're just gonna stand here and pretend to look at cakes, aren't we? Um, Tamon and you have been discussing composite humans. Um, interesting. Thinking about, thinking about cakes. Checking the guidebook. Modeled after the patisserie galette. This is, this is a baked goods and cake shop along Nanko Street. I wonder if we'll get kicked out of this one too. It seems like it's a real shop. Uh, their desire to spread traditional French confections in the region led to uh, arranging them in ways that are easier for Japanese people to eat and are very popular, along with other items like Gakuen cheese. <laughs> Gakuen cheese? So now what? Whoa. Oh, here we go. Looks like they won a bunch of awards. Is that it? I think that's it. We've looked at cakes. We've looked at awards. When is she going to come back? Is she ever going to come back? Oh, a ball. Hey, is this? There's a stained glass lamp in the corner of the shop. Where did you buy this lamp? Oh, ho. Wow, it looks pretty good for being handmade. In the letter, she said that she, it said uh, she made stained glass with fatty. This must be it. Oh, look who it is. Oh, no, we're get, getting into the berry tarts. <gasps> what the? So, uh, did Fatty had his heart broken and no longer makes berry tarts? It's probably something like that, right? Corpus Alchema. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, the customer leaves. This shop doesn't sell berry tarts? <laughs> Experimenting in tarts. There are no berry-flavored cakes in the display case. This shop doesn't have berry-flavored stuff, huh? Oh, there he is. 
A handsome patissier comes out of the kitchen. He must be a Mori. He looks handsome and kind. If he's fatty, uh, why doesn't he sell any berry tarts? I thought they were his specialty. Good looking dude. Does Matsue just have a lot of hot people running around? Wow. Uh, I watched their interaction. Say, are you two... Well, well. Is that so? Congratulations, your fiancé seems very dependable. I shudder to think the letter that we're going to see in the next chapter with the response of us saying that we hate women. Uh, he's different from the fatty I imagined. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> this is a lot. This is so much. Uh, I stared at Mori in silence. <laughs> we wandered into the antique bakery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you go to Matsue Oba High School? The head chef's expression hardens. Do you know a woman named Aya Fumino? Oh, he's getting mad. We've got uh, tubular bells happening here. The head chef is shaking. His portrait is certainly shaking. Are you... fatty? <laughs> That's the face I make when somebody says, Hey, are you fatty? <laughs> The head chef <laughs> heads straight for the kitchen. He's so easy to read. Excuse me, why... Did you come here to call my fiancé fat? <laughs> uh, yeah, but... Oh, she's gonna kick her butt. She seems to be the tougher one. <laughs> I knew it! We got kicked out of the cake shop. <laughs> Just gonna double check. I mean, it's in the guidebook, but, uh. Patisserie Pure. It's real. So, uh, visit, visit famous cake shops. Get kicked out. <laughs> uh, I think the head chef is fatty, but if berry tarts are his specialty, why doesn't he have any for sale? I want definitive proof that he is fatty. All right, to the art studio. That is where we're going to leave it uh, until uh, next Sunday. Uh, but between uh, <laughs> putting a red X through every business and school we've been tossed out of, that's where we're going to leave it uh, this afternoon. We will be going to the art studio next Sunday, so do tune in uh, from 2 p.m., uh, British summertime. Uh, we'll be hanging up. Borscht, I know. I'm stopping. I'm stopping, buddy. Uh, between now and Sunday, I will be streaming again uh, on Tuesdays and Friday nights uh, from uh, 8 p.m. British summertime, which is, I think, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, this coming f uh, Tuesday, we're playing more World's End Club, uh, the uh, latest game from Kataro Uchikoshi and uh, what's his name? Uh, Kodaka is his surname, who did Dong and Ranpa. Uh, it is a, um, a narrative-based puzzle platformer for the Switch, so we'll be playing some of that on Tuesday. And uh, Fates, is, uh, Fates is complaining, but I do have a, a borscht that I have to take care of. Um, and on Friday, we're going to be finishing Resident Evil 1, and then we'll probably pay, play some uh, very, very embarrassing horror games if we finish that in good time. Uh, let me just see if there's somebody for us to raid at this hour. I never can tell. Um, it is Sunday afternoon here in the UK, so who is who is on? Is there anybody I know on? Uh, there is not. Uh, so that is uh, just where we're going to leave it today. Um, but I will stay to everybody. Thank you for hanging out. Um, join the Discord if you like Discord. If you like to be on Discord, but you don't have to. Um, I, will, I will do my best. Thank you very much, Lux. Thank you for the well wishes. Everybody, um, happy Father's Day to all of you out there in Dadland. Remember to stay sassy, stay sour, uh, never log off. Have a great one, everybody. <laughs>